In this video, we're going to be covering te imas or te idu uh, verb endings versus the mas form or the you know just the regular old u form like iku, tabiru, nomu. And we're going to be discussing how time marking adverbs can help differentiate between them if you aren't aware. Uh, the regular old quote, the quote unquote regular old mas form is habitual, something you do regularly, whereas te imas can sometimes mean something you do regularly. Uh, quite annoying. And then we're also going to be talking about mo versus to. Hello everybody, this is Evan Rogers coming at you with a not JLPTN for video. We are going to be discussing a question that came up on one of the Facebook Japanese learning groups and it dawned on me that this is probably a question that lots of people have and needs to be addressed. And furthermore, the, uh, the individual who posted this on Facebook was wondering about his or her translations. This is actually my second attempt at making the video and I've already corrected all of the English and um, corrected the translations. So I apologize, I put the, the proper translations in already. So compare what you wrote in that Facebook post, please. I don't know if the person who wrote this was a man or a woman or a guy or a gal. The person has a name that I'm completely unfamiliar with and I do not know, sorry. Let's talk about te imas translations. The most common one that you've heard is be currently doing. I am eating soup. I am drinking, I don't know, milk, whatever. Uh, that is a totally fine translation, usually. We're going to learn why it's not always a good translation. Uh, another thing is that uh, they're sometimes translated as has done or has been doing. I have been going to the store regularly um, and things like that. I have a video discussing that translation and I'll link to it below. Hopefully my future self will remember to do that. Another important thing is how they have adjective-like natures. Uh, we'll talk about that as well. Usually this is for verbs that uh, don't really have a direct, uh, a, a direct object in them. And then finally, the next one is going to be to do habitually over a long period of time. We do something like this in English as well. Uh, and we'll find that with, uh, with Japanese, there will be adverbs that help us decide which ending to use. Now, not always will these adverbs be there, but uh, when they are there, it will definitely reflect which verb ending to use. Okay, also we'll be talking about mo versus to. Uh, let's see, mo is usually, let, there we go. Mo is usually as well as, to, or as well. Uh, I can also add emphasis to something and it almost always replaces particles ga, wa, and o. When it's used, when it's used we won't ever see a ga or an o or a wa. Almost never. There's the occasional weird thing that uh, doesn't exist so much anymore, but it can happen. I have seen o mo. I was very surprised to see that. Uh, but almost always it will just replace the particles completely and there will not be a ga, o, or wo or a ga, an o, or a wa uh, with them at all. To, on the other hand, is like we're making a list of nouns. We're linking them together, and all of the nouns are being treated as a group. Maybe linked isn't the, uh, uh, isn't the best thing. Uh, to groups nouns together. It's like the word and. So if you think of mo as being much more the idea of as well or to, that shouldn't say as well. I have the same thing twice. I just realized that I had as well to and then as well written. I just changed this to say even, so I'm going to highlight that so it's easier to see. Uh, even is another good translation as well. Uh, so to, uh, sorry, to uh, is much more the idea of and when we're saying, when we're, sorry, excuse me for scrolling so much. This is how we say something like and. Uh, we're making a list of nouns and we're going to treat all the nouns as one type of speech. So me, my friend, and uh, my brother are going to the store. So all three of those uh, nouns that I listed were the subject of the sentence. To differs from ya in that we generally list everything that's included. It's much more of an all-encompassing list, so the list is not leaving things out. The ya particle 
I mean, there will be things that are get left out, but ya yeah is much more the feeling of and things like. So when you want to say, you know, things like this and things like that, that's what we're eating. That's a ya yeah particle. But when you're making a list that is much more, these are all of the things we ate. This and this and this and this and this and this and this. That's much more the toe particle. And I don't think I specifically said this yet. After the list, instead of having a final toe, we will have the particle that those nouns deserve in the structure. So if they're the subject, they'll get a ga, and if they're the object, they'll get a wa, or sorry, an o, excuse me. Or if they need that wa to be affecting them uh, in the proper way, that can also be there. I think, or you know, knees or whatever, whatever particle might be after them. Okay, so let's get started. The questions were what I just brought up. So uh, let's see, she, he or she, sorry, once again, I don't know if you're a guy or a gal. Hi, I would like to know why, to know, why Zenzen Shimasen Yo, because he never does sports and now is still not doing. So as you can see, English is not the native language. Okay, so this is what's happening. The sentence is, down here, Ken says, hey, ne. And the question is, if he's not doing sports currently, and he won't be doing it in the future, and he didn't do it in the past, isn't he continuously not doing sports? And the answer is, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That that that's a good way of thinking it, thinking about it. But uh, stay my sen with Zen Zen would almost sound like I have never done it, and that is because I have never done it. Very much closely resembles the have done, has been doing, or it turns it into an adjective like feeling. So Zen Zen means completely not at all. I'm not doing it, it doesn't work with Zen Zen. So like we said earlier, we'll find that adverbs help decide which ending to use. Zen Zen pretty much rules out currently doing. I am completely not doing that right now. Just sounds very strange. I completely haven't done that. I have never once done that. Is kind of a, what Zen Zen Teimasen would mean. And that's not quite what he's saying because surely he has done sports before. Uh, Zen Zen, and it wouldn't be an adjective like behavior. So adjective-like usages of this, I should, something's going on with my tabs here. I think it's because I copied directly from Facebook. It ruined all the formats. Anyway, words like kekkon shiteru. Uh, these, kekkon shiteru means I am currently married uh, or I am married. I am in a state of being. This is like an adjective. Or if we were to say something like futoteiru, which is I am fat, which is accurate. Uh, I am getting chunky. I need to get my butt back to the gym. Totteru. So these are teiru forms, but you see them as very much as uh, as as uh, adjectives. And the reason for that is is because the iru is kind of like I exist or the subject exists in a state of once again having done the action before it. So kekon shite having got. Uh, I can't really just seem to do that, can I? It just, just highlights the whole thing. So, kekkon shite, having been married, iru, I am here. Sometimes that is a perfectly legitimate translation. Something happened and then the final verb here. And so, futoteru, I exist having gotten fat. Futote, iru. And that those are very much the idea of adjective-like things. And similarly, uh, I should scroll up. Verbs of movement will regularly have this happen to them. So, for example, if I were to say to, uh, Tokyo ni itte imas. Tokyo ni itte imas. The question becomes is he currently in Tokyo or has he, or is he now currently going to Tokyo? So, imagine you're on an airplane and somebody asks you what you're doing and you say Tokyo ni itte imas. That could be accurate. You could be on the plane heading there. But um, if you talk to Japanese people, more likely their understanding is that they are imas, they are in Tokyo, Tokyo ni imas, and they're there having gone there. So, ite imas. 
so that's uh that's one of the stranger that that's how this this adjective like nature begins with the teimas form so now that we've clarified that that might be a little bit off to topic for what we were doing you can feel here boku wa sports wa zenzen shimasen this is definitely not an adjective he he doesn't exist in a state of never doing sports that's not really a thing you can he's not really never doing sports um, that's not a, that's not a state that you're, you're not imasing or you're not not uh, what would be imasen would be it would be te imasen so zenzen shite imasen uh, imasen means he doesn't exist having done sports not at all he 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 doesn't exist at all having done sports that's kind of what that would literally translate to it gets a little bit weird with the zenzen the zenzen adjective it's what's doing the adverb is what's doing it here the zenzen shimasen we usually don't say zenzen te imasen with anything uh, okay, so that's what's happening here. It's it's mostly because the Zen Zen is here. It's it's actually that's kind of an adverb marker that's triggering us to say Shimasen. Which is why um, click the word here Taite and this Shumatsu wa Taite. This Taite here is kind of the reason why we have Te Imas up here. Takako san wa Shumatsu wa Taite nanyoshite masu ka? Nanyoshite masu ka? Um, so this is generally on the weekends. As for the weekends, generally, what are you doing? What do you do? Um, and and because of this tai te, which means generally or usually, kind of like that, the te imas comes out of the woodwork. If we were to get rid of shumatsu and tai te completely, we wouldn't be using te imas because that without these without these words triggering the idea of a repeated action happening and some the idea of continuously doing this like every weekend generally without that feeling of these words this te imas very much feels like currently right now doing without shumatsu wa and tai te if we just said nanyo shite imas ka it would translate to what are you doing now okay Okay, and then without her response doesn't have this tai te in here. Tai, tai, when I'm switching between Japanese, my pronunciation gets wacky. Tai te in here. Uh, shumatsu wa hashirimasu, sore kara teniso shimasu, sore kara karate mo shimasu. Okay, so shumatsu wa, so she's just saying on the weekends I do this, and then I do that, and then I do that. So. Notice how there's no generally. She does, she's not putting up the idea that this is a regular occurrence that definitely happens generally every weekend. If she were to add tai te here, shumatsu wa tai te, it would be hashitemas. She responds without tai te, and thus her verb endings are just regularly mas. And we see mo pop up here. We see mo pop up here. Okay, so let's talk about this. As for the weekend, I run. I also, do, and then after that I do tennis, and then after that I do karate. So one of the reasons why we're not using to here, one of them is because we have these sore karas. So, shumatsu wa hashirimasu. And then I do something. And then I do a different thing. Okay? So, because it's an orderly fashion, I do this, and then I do that, and then I do that. We can't group all the nouns together. Because we can't group everything together and then expect that we know that there's an there there's a there's a there's a I do A and then B and then C. Do you see what I'm saying? Like if I say I have apples, oranges, and bananas, and then I eat one of them next, we don't know what you're eating next. There's no order of eating happening. Okay, so also the verbs change. You see how there's a shimas and a shimas? Those two are the same, but there's the hashirimas. So, um, that's another reason why we're not using the toe particle. We, we could, if we took out the idea of and then, and then, we could link tennis and karate with toe particles. Tennis to toe, karate, and then we could either use a mo or even a, an o there for shimas. <clears throat> However, with hashirimas, that's running. You, you, can't, you can't run tennis, right? So there would be no way to you can't shimas hashirimas does that make sense you can't do hashirimas you can do tennis and you can do karate but you can't do running um if that makes sense because you can't you can't sudo a hashiru you can't you can't verb a verb 
Okay, so that's another reason why the toe particle isn't being used here. And that's kind of the answer. I mean, I guess that, that's, that's the answer. That's the answer. We could make the sentence, um, Shumatsu wa hashite tenisu to karate o shimasu. I do karate and tennis, and I also, like, I run, and I do tennis and karate. So, shumatsu wa hashite tenisu to karate o shimasu. That would be a fine sentence. It wouldn't have the idea of order, of oper- it wouldn't have the idea of the order happening. Um, except for hashirimas might be what's first. <clears throat> With the te form, we do have an ordinal X happens and then Y. So I run and then I play tennis and do karate would be kind of what happens there. Okay. Uh, the next line is, oh, that's right. The next line is, it's the greatest name. That's amazing. Ken is totally wanting to date this girl. Boku wa sports wa zenzen shimasen. Notice the double wa. As for me, I'm comparing to you. As for sports, I do other things, but I don't do sports. Zenzen shimasen. So this wa particle is taking boku and differentiating it from takako. So that's a comparison. And then he says sports wa zenzen shimasen. That's a hint that he's building up to what he's going to say next. So this wa here, one, it's here because it's negative. I don't do sports. He does other things. He does other things. So of all the things that he doesn't do, sports is one of them. But he does do things. As for sports, at least, I don't do them at all. And we talked about this. The Zen Zen is what's triggering the Masen. Uh, without the Zen Zen, Shite Imasen could work. Or Taite Shimas Shite Imasen would also, like if Taite were there instead of Zen Zen. Uh, it would be uh, uh Then she says, so does go. Oh, is that so? Oh, really? Maybe she's bored with him. Maybe she's just being playing like, oh, is that so? Ah, so does go. Oh, oh, okay. That's interesting that you don't do any sports. And then Ken lays out exactly what he wants to lay out. Hi, boku wa shumatsu wa itsumo ruri wo shitemasu. Notice the itsumo. And the idea of shumatsu. Shumatsu wa introduces the idea of habitual. And then itsumo brings up the idea of all the time. So notice how we have habitual this weekend, then the next weekend, then the next weekend, then the next weekend, then the next weekend. And then itsumo makes it feel like always. Like it's almost like a continuous habitual thing. So this continuous itsumo is linking up with habitual every weekend. And that's triggering this te imas form, okay? So the te imas here is because of the itsumo and the shumatsu. This boku wa does not need to be here. I, I don't know why. This is this is very Japanese one. Takako-san wa. He's talking to Takako. He doesn't need to say her name. Notice she doesn't say her name. It's a good name. Boku wa. I mean, kind of it's okay to say that. But really, if he didn't have boku wa here, would be totally fine. So does ga. Hai boku wa. Again, his English is show- showing. He doesn't need to keep saying his own self. As for me, as for me, as for me, as for me. Not you, not you, but me, me, me. I cook every weekend. Notice the itsumo changes from always to every, something like that. So I cook every weekend. And the te imas here is once again triggering the idea. Is is here because we have a continuous always every single weekend I'm doing it. Takako is interested. She loves food. She's always exercising. She needs all the calories she can get. And Ken is about to make some delicious food. She goes, eh? Rorio? Ooh, I would like to eat your food. Then he's like, hi. France Rory mo, Spain Rory mo dekimas. Notice dekimas is I can do. Uh, France Rory mo, Spain Rory mo dekimas. Okay. The question is going to be, why is the, why are these not a toe? And the answer is, they could be toe. They could be toe. France rori to Spain rori ga dekimas. And the fact that it, that it would be a ga here, I want to talk about that real quickly. All potential verbs are descriptions. They are adjectives, and they are describing what can be done. What can be done? 
these dishes. So notice how ga dekimas. I can. These dishes are doable. <clears throat> if you translate potential verbs as verbable, you can see how these are actually the subject of the sentence. So he could say, <clears throat> Boku wa Fransu ryori to Spain ryori ga dekimas. The subject of the sentence in English would be, I can do those things. But in Japanese, what you're really saying is, well, if you're talking about me, French food and Spanish food are doable. And you can kind of feel how the subject is actually the types of food that he makes. Very interesting. Japanese is a very crazy language. <clears throat> okay, so ryori means cooking. That's how these kanjis are read. Ryori means cooking and dekimas shows us what he's able to do. Okay, so these are the reason why they're mo and they're not toes. Let's actually address the issue is that I can, he's either saying I can even do these and I can even do that. Or he's saying I can do this as well as that. And I think that'd probably be the best way to put it. Fransu ryori mo, Spain ryori mo dekimas. I can do French cuisine as well as Spanish food. So this X mo, Y mo something, this is the X as well as Y. That's how we deal with that in English generally, X as well as Y. And I think I had something very similar to that written down up here. So mo is usually as well, as well. So X as well as Y. Okay, cool. Let's finish the translation. Sugoi, that's amazing. I like you now. I want your food. Um, I think you made a mistake on this translation, so pay attention um, if this is you watching. Uh, let's see what you what I corrected you to say. Uh, yeah, I changed it to won't you come hang out this weekend. So I'm highlighting this so you can see this. Won't you come to hang out this weekend? And I wanted to point out that um, English does the same thing. If we do I will play... And then we say, change the subject to you, you will play. Then we make it a question, will you play? And then we, um, will you, then we make it negative, will you not play? We start getting into this weird feeling where it's an invitation. And then if we shorten it to, won't you play? If we change it to, won't you play? A negative future question can become an invitation. So you see, this is an invitation, won't you play with me? And that's what's happening here. Asobi ni kimasen ka? So, konshu no shumatsu, this weekend. Asobi, this is the stem. I saw you had a post about the stem in a different um, in a different post. This is the stem of the verb. So, verb mas minus mas. That little chunk right there, that's called the stem. Stem ni, verb of movement. Won't you go or come to do the verb? So, come to play. Won't you come to play or hang out? Um, play is for children. Hanging out is for adults. Won't you come hang out with me this weekend? Nanika ryorishimasu. And I had a note on this when I made this earlier. Nanika. Um, nanika can mean something. As a noun, it would mean something. Or if it were nanika noun... It could be some kind of whatever the noun is. So if I were to say it's nanika ryori, it'd be some kind of food. Nanika ryorika. And then if I just say nanika by itself, it means something. And so when we look at the sentence here, it could be either. Because ryori by itself is a noun. And then we're adding shimas. So nanika ryori, some kind of food. Shimas. I will do some kind of food. Or it could be nanika ryori shimas. I will cook something or I'll do some kind of cooking. We, we could, we, both of those translations are acceptable. Um, most likely it's nanika, rurishimasu. So the group, they would split right there. And it would be, I'll cook something. And Takako is super interested. Hondoni, really? Ooh, I want to eat their food, baby. All right, that's what's happening in this. I hope that was helpful. And for everyone out there, I hope that you thought this was helpful. And if you did, let me remind you that everything that I do here is funded by you guys. And I would greatly appreciate you to at least like the video or share the video. 
share it over social media, subscribe, make a donation, all the links are below. And if you do Patreon or subscribe to our donations, you get added bonus. So thank you very much. Have yourself a happy, happy day. Peace out. And let's sing Vampirina. We can uh, sing Booty Vampirina. You want to sing Booty Vampirina? What's that? Uh, what's that song? Uh, we're living the scream. <gasps> Whoa, Vampirina! I can and gum Vampirina. Maybe blue with pointy teeth. Mommy blue is blue.